Yo, this this has to be the craziest decade of presidencies ever. Like this has to be the craziest like century of presidencies ever. I don't know. There's got to be more than how many presidents have had their crib raided by the FBI. I know Trump had more, his crib got raided. That he was tight about. He was he was mad. He was mad tight. I think he was mad as fuck, bro. Mar-a-Lago got hit up by the feds. Nixon's crib had to have gotten hit up by the feds. As much shit as he was doing, I know they raided his crib. We're gonna have to look that up and see if that's true. Uh, we're gonna look that up later. So recently, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, his crib got raided by the FBI. Literally, the FBI searches Biden's home in Delaware, according to CNN. And Kate Bolden is the one delivering us this story today. So we're gonna listen to Kate and see what she has to say. Bro, they really raided this nigga's crib like he's not the president of the United States of America. Let's see what let's see why they would raid Joe Biden's crib. Let's see what nefarious deeds he might be up to. The FBI is searching President Biden's home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, right now. This is Rehoboth. I know it's a nice house. That just sounds like a place you're just not allowed to visit. Part of the ongoing investigation into his handling of classified documents, Biden's attorney put out a statement saying that the search- there's an investigation into Biden's mishandling of classified documents. I knew there was a Hunter Biden thing. Is this investigation spearheaded by the? Well, it has to be spearheaded by the FBI because you know some investigations are like pressed by like the senator, like by Congress. You know, like theater investigations, like fuck this guy, let's make him look like he's a criminal. Looks like the FBI is genuinely concerned about Joe's bad behavior. Joe, what have you done? Search was planned in advance and that the president is cooperating. Today's search now makes it the third known location that federal agents have gone through to look for classified material. You want to, bruh, ain't this weird? Like how these like politicians are so wealthy. Like, I know, like, this is common knowledge that politicians, especially someone in the game who's been in the rap game as long as Joe Biden. Yes, I said the rap game. For someone who's been in the rap game for as long as Joe Biden, spitting bars and, you know, hopping on tracks and putting out hits, for someone like Joe, not <laughs> literal hits, for someone like Joe Biden, you know, to have these, like, a condo in D.C., Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, that crib looks amazing. And then Wilmington... Delaware for him to be look that crib looks nice too. I don't know, bro. I don't know if be his political career is a very long one, but to be able to afford this much property, I don't know, man. I don't know. This better not be the entire Joe Biden better not be living in all of this. This better be a condo or like an apartment, bro. This nigga's wealthy. My bad. My bad for interrupting y'all. At the properties associated with President Biden. Paula Reed, she's joining us now from Washington with much more. Associated with, oh, he owns the property. Associated, trying to downplay the fact that this nigga's a baller. Stop it. Come on, we all know Biden's a pimp. Stop, don't play with us. We all know Biden's a pimp. On this, Paula, this all started really unfolding just a little while ago. What are you learning? That's right. Pool cameras actually spotted vehicles and what appeared to be federal agents at the Rehoboth house. And they were there because, Kate, we have very much expected that there would likely be an FBI search of this property. And as you noted, this is being conducted in cooperation with the president's attorneys. But to put this in context and explain why we expected this, let's go back to the beginning of this situation. They uncovered classified documents at the president's former office back in November. Several weeks after that, the president's own attorneys decided out of an abundance of caution to search his homes in Wilmington, Delaware, and this property in Rehoboth. And they've said that they did find classified materials in Wilmington, but they did not find any in Rehoboth. And that subsequently became the subject of a full-blown special counsel investigation, and it was expected that the FBI would want to go and do its own searches. Roughly two weeks ago, of course, the FBI did its own search of the president's Wilmington home. And they uncovered additional classified materials. So we're expecting them to show up in Rehoboth eventually. That is today. Of course, it's unclear, though, how long this search will take. Kate, the one in Wilmington lasted roughly. We agreed to cooperate is what the lawyer of Joe Biden says. Yo, between Biden and Trump, bro, like these two niggas are clown season on like, bro, like y'all know like Trump is damn near like Trump's camp has damn near been Rico. This nigga Michael Cohen, let me make sure his first name's actually Michael. I'm sorry, y'all, but we're going to be Googling a lot of shit because I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm, I'm not the most politically savvy. 
Michael Cohen. I know that's Trump's former lawyer. Michael Cohen, the one that helped him get out of Stormy Daniels shit. Right? My, yeah, Michael Cohen. That nigga went to jail, bro. Who else, who else served jail time from the Trump administration? Somebody else got sent to jail. And I know Steve Bannon did some kind of scam. They tried to Rico that nigga. Trump camp, Trump team sentenced to jail. Who, who else got sentenced to jail? Alan Weiselberg. Yeah, him too. Ex-Trump executive sentenced some five months in jail. Five months or five years. The fact that niggas around you are getting hit up by the law and sentenced to jail, you would have thought Donald Trump was young thug. You would have thought Donald Trump was Jeffrey. Bro, between Biden's cribs being consecutively raided by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and Trump's camp being sentenced to jail left and right, bro, this is the most, like, bro, you would have thought, right, everybody thought, like, the first black president was going to be the beginning of the craziness, but no. It's a nigga that came after Obama. Everybody thought if we let a black man in office, it's gonna go cr Bro, Trump got real Trump got niggas in his camp that's really locked up, bro. Or at least were locked up at one point in time. They put that nigga Michael Cohen on house arrest. They put he they let him out and said, okay, you're gonna stay confined at your house now. But the fact that bro went to jail, bro, this is crazy. This is some real like rap shit. Like, this is some gang, like, bro, like. Donald Trump was everything that conservatives thought a black man's presidency would be like. Messing with porn stars, FBI raided his crib, riots at the Capitol, talking shit to other people that are leaders of other countries, calling Kim Jong-un rocket man, all type of ignorance, tweeting reckless, nigga, just talking reckless on Twitter. What what else did Trump multiple children by multiple women? And look, I have nothing against Trump. I'm actually a fan. I think he's entertaining. I like Trump. But Trump was everything they thought a black president would be. This nigga, they, the FBI raided his crib. They sent the niggas in his camp to jail. Bro, when you tally all of this up, is this not some gangster rapper like type shit, bro? Trump's the first gangster rapper president. Is it am I wrong? Did these things not all happen? I'm just saying. Now let's look. Let's look, let's get back to to Biden's crib getting done up by the FBI. Thirteen hours. But the big question now it is whether it took thirteen hours. It took thirteen hours for them to raid this man's crib and assess whether he stole something or not, or is in possession of, you know, classified documents. Thirteen hours. God damn. They will find any additional classified materials. As of now, our sources say the total classified documents that have been found both at the former office and at the Wilmington home, it's characterized as dozens known to date. So big question, will they find additional material? And if so, will they share that information with the public? There's been a, a real push and pull in terms of transparency here. They confirmed this search after we caught it on camera. They have provided some details, but most of the information in this investigation has come out through the press. Yeah, that was, that was what I was going to ask you is, uh, is is how quickly it's expected. If there is something found, what will, when the public will learn. We'll stand by to stand by with you on that one, Paul. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Joining me now for more on this is CNN legal analyst Elliot Williams. He's a former federal prosecutor. Elliot, thanks for jumping on. What do you make of the statement? Uh, what do you make of this search? Also, the statement coming out from Biden's attorney. And it was, it, let me read just part of it because it's what Paula was talking about. Um, she said the statement from uh, Bob Barra's, under DOJ standard procedures in the interest of operational security and integrity, it sought to do this work without advanced public notice, and we agreed to cooperate. What do you make of that? Yeah, it's a little confusing because it's the Justice Department in Joe Biden's administration that's putting it out. There are two different entities, right? You have the Justice Department that kind of operates independently, and then you have the White House. Now, look, they have different interests here, and the Justice Department's key interest is maintaining secrecy around its search. That's why, you know, they did not publicly announce it. Or the Justice Department didn't publicly announce the search and so on, right? Now, why they were able to come to some consent agreement to search the home is that the Justice Department assumed that they wouldn't have gotten into a fight over the documents with the, with, with the, Biden, with the Biden team. I think the Justice Department operated under the assumption that they weren't expecting the president or his aides to 
conceal or hide or tamper with evidence. That's why they came to some agreement as to the search here. But again, it, it can be a little bit confusing because yes, it is the Justice Department. Yes, it's an independent entity, but it's not the same thing as the White House, right? Even though it's the same president. And we know to this point that when Biden's team went through the, the home, the Rehoboth home, they said that they did, did not find any classified documents there. If the FBI through this search does find more documents at this home at this point, how problematic is that? It's problematic if the FBI uncovers evidence that there was intentional taking or mishandling of documents. Right. Look, Kate, it, it, look, I, I had classified a top secret. So this is like if you, this is like if your mom tells you to go find something, you're like, I can't find it, I can't find it. She's like, okay, now if I find it, if I find it, so, the, so apparently Biden's team searched the crib for your classified documents. They said we didn't find, we had, we found nothing. Now the FBI is coming in like, we're going to be the judge of that shit. So now they're about to search his crib. Damn, Joe. Come on, Joe. Don't, don't fuck up with this, too. Clarence, for many years, it can be easier than you think or hope for classified documents to get out. Most of the time... It's just hard to, for me to believe that classified information has physical backups in this current day and age. But then again, it would be stupid to not have physical backups, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know shit. I'm not a politician yet. That it happens, it's inadvertent. Someone takes a document out uh, accidentally or so on. That may have been the case here now. If the FBI uncovers evidence that someone, and not just the president, someone around the president on his team, voluntarily, knowingly took documents away from the White House, um, away from the scrutiny of the National Records Administration, then of course uh, it should be alarming because th that can be a federal crime. But most of the time, it's simply um, whoopsie, an accident, uh, classified documents got out of where they should have been. We also have reporting this morning from Paul Reed as well that the special counsel, Robert Hur is now officially on the job. <clears throat> and he obviously is a special counsel who will be overseeing this investigation into Biden's handling of classified documents. Watching from the outside, Elliot, is there anything that we're going to see that changes now that he is running things? I really don't think so, and I really don't think it should be the case. Look, in any well-functioning organization, not even government or the Justice Department, moving in and out the, the head, the principal, ought not to change the work they were doing. They were proceeding beforehand with investigations and searches and, and uh, going through evidence even prior to Bob Kerr coming on. Now, look, having somebody as a, as a figurehead at the top can help steer the ship and make sure things are, are read, uh, are, are handled and proceeding effectively but the direction shouldn't really change i mean i think that would actually be quite bad for government if every time a new u.s attorney or a new special counsel came in uh uh things fell apart or, or changed quite dramatically so I, I i'm not anticipating things would be much different and look at a minimum you can be certain that the justice department's not going to start talking about the investigations they're doing now simply because someone else is coming in their mo for better or whatever man look Biden, bro, this nigga Biden can't afford to, to go outside. Biden cannot afford to sit there and say, we didn't find any classified documents, but, you know, if the FBI pulls up, y'all see Jeffrey's music right there? Fuck. OBS has me fu- there, there it is. Yeah, um, yeah. Bro, like, at the end of the day, bro, like, Joe Biden's been, he's been doing, he hasn't been doing too well in the eyes of the public. I don't know if he's been doing because, you know, sometimes a president can be doing well, but the public just doesn't perceive that like, oh, fuck this nigga like that. That happens in the eyes of the public. Biden is an accident. He is a mistake in the eyes of the public. An absolute joke. So, you know, if it comes out that him and Trump are both, you know, uh, Rico victims at some point, if it comes out that Biden himself is also fucking around with classified documents, it'll be a tough one. But the fact that the Biden team is fully cooperating with the Justice Department, aka the FBI, which is a branch of the Justice Department. The fact that they're assisting the FBI in investigating them, clearly I think the Biden team is, they're good, they're Gucci. They're, nothing's gonna happen to these niggas. They're following the rules. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Trump, on the other hand, this nigga be pleading the fifth. <laughs> denying shit bro trump yo trump is so yo this nigga's comedy bro yo i'm sorry bro 
Big ups to Biden for cooperating with the Justice Department, but bro, Trump refuses to take any out. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I, 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 Trump is just hilarious, bro. Like this nigga be this nigga is almost always in the fucking wrong. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. This is, yo, I'm sorry, bro. Trump is the most entertaining president that we've had in a long time, bro. This nigga is he's something else, but yeah. Biden's crib raided by the FBI. It's a it's a tough one. It's a tough situation for Biden. Joe Biden classified documents found. Let's see what happened to the ones that they did find. Um that's bro they said some were found what were they fbi searches joe biden's wilmington home and finds more classified documents okay what are the nature of them what's the nature of them um oh the department of justice took possession of materials it deemed let me make sure y'all can see this let me not be greedy the department of justice took possession uh fuck y'all can't see my cursor damn how do i how do i make sure y'all can see my shit well y'all just got to take this l i'm i'm so underneath f y'all see this okay we're at the doj doj took possession of materials it deemed within the scope of its inquiry including six items consisting of the document consisting of documents with classification markings and surrounding materials some of which were from the president's service in the Senate. Okay, so this is a while ago. And some of which were from his tenure as vice president. Okay, also a little while ago. DOJ also took further review personally handwritten notes from the vice presidential years. Okay, so some of these documents are old. It doesn't mean that they're not classified, but they're old. So let's see. I saw something that, that's interesting. Uh, let's press... Let's press pause on that the FBI is certain no we're good on that we already watched that so can't fuck damn bro oh can't wait for this guy to die reporter reveals some gop sentiment towards trump okay we're not playing drake that's a mistake the FBI is fuck well at the end of the day we watched the video we 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 assessed somewhat of the situation and what's going on with with with, with Joe. Apparently he's uh he's down bad right now. They're they're searching his crib and shit. But I think he'll make it out of this one. He's cooperating with the authorities, unlike Trump. <laughs> this nigga Trump talking about I refuse to snitch. This nigga Trump Trump pleads the fifth. Watch as Trump pleads the fifth. Of, how many times? They said he did it. How many times did they say he did it? I think they said he did it like over like 50 times. This nigga pled the fifth like crazy, bro. This nigga refuses to snitch on himself. Look at it, bro. This nigga refuses to snitch. But yeah, Joe Biden and Trump. Very, very different. Very, very different people. Trump's in some deep shit, but I think he'll make it out of this one. I think he'll be fine. Uh... I think he'll be fine. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. They're searching Biden's crib. We'll see what happens. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.